What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Black and Red Builds channel. Good to have you here. Uh, just a quick update. We survived Hurricane Milton here. We did get a direct hit where I live from the eye. It went right over us. And, yeah, that definitely got a little bit, uh, a little hairy scary there for a little bit. But uh, we made it all right. Didn't lose any shingles or anything. Lost part of our fence, but we were able to fix it. And just a bunch of land, uh, limbs and branches and some trees down. Uh, we had some neighbors that uh, did lose uh, shingles and windows and stuff like that. So uh, we could have done a lot worse here at the Black and Red Headquarters. Thankfully, uh, we fared pretty good. So just wanted to get that out of the way. Also, don't forget, guys, we are closing in on 1,000 subscribers. And when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to make a video and put it out there showing the giveaway here of the Mandalorian lego helmet brand new in the box never been open uh i believe this is around 70 dollars or something like that on the lego website you can get it cheaper at other places but anyways uh that's uh what i'm going to be giving away when i hit 1000 subscribers again i will put a video out giving all the instructions on how to join this giveaway how to sign up for the giveaway so anyways without out of the way as well don't forget to like and subscribe get us to that thousand subscribers quicker so we can do that giveaway just a little token of appreciation to everybody who has subscribed uh, to the channel and um and watched the videos uh i can't tell you how much that means to me so thank you very much uh without any uh wasting any more time though let's get to the build at hand we are continuing on with the fan home build your own robocop very cool build so far we have box 10 right here stages 35 through 38 of the fan home build drone robocop so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open all right here we go guys here is the box for pack 10 of the fan home build drone robocop let's go ahead and cut into this thing all right let's see what we got inside We got all of our parts here. There we go. Get our magazines out. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the box here. All right, guys, now we have issues 35 through 38. So let's go ahead and get started on issue 35. Okay, here we go with issue 35. Let's get a look inside the magazine here. The evil heir to Robocop. Mm -hmm. Flip on back to our parts. Here we go. We're going to be working, uh, continuing to work on that right lower leg that we were building in the last series there. We're going to be putting this pieces on. And uh, we're going to look just like this when we're done. See what else we got in here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, here we are with our right lower leg from uh, from our previous builds. Then we got part 35B here. That's this piece right here. And we're going to be putting that on. It's going to go on the inside of the leg right here. Here we got pins here and here that's going to match up with these holes. And we're just going to line it up just like this and press that in. Press it in nice and tight. It's a real snug fit. It's going to look just like that. All right, now we got 35A. That's the other piece that was in the pack right here. And that's going to go on the back of the leg, so let's flip that over this way. And again, it's only going to go in one way. It's shaped to fit right in there, so let's put that in and push it, push the pins in. There you go. It's going to look just like that. Nice. That's really nice, huh? All right, guys, that's the end of issue 35. Let's go ahead and move on to issue 36. All right, here's issue 36. Let's uh, get a look inside there. Let me get right back to the parts here. Again, now we're working on the right thigh. We have these pieces here to go on. Actually, I think all we're doing is putting this piece on here, and then we'll set that aside until we uh, until we continue on with that right thigh. 
Oh, he's cool looking, huh? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Right, guys, we got 36A, this metal piece, and 36B, this small plastic piece. And we're going to be putting this plastic piece right here on the metal piece. Going to go this way around with this little hole here, more towards the bottom. And we're just going to push the pins there into the holes. Push it all the way in nice and firmly. There we go. It's going to look just like that. And that's all we have to do in issue 36. So... Let's go ahead and move on to issue 37. All right, here's issue 37. Let's get right back to our parts again, flip through here. Here we are. Looks like we're gonna be working more on that right thigh. Looks like, it's like part of the uh, upper part where the joint is. This is our pieces. They're going to be going on just like this. And they'll be attaching to the piece that we just did. And that's going to be going to this section right here. That's creepy looking. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we have 37B, and this one's going to be marked with an R2 inside of it. You can see right there. And we're going to be putting that on this uh, thigh piece that we just got done building in the last uh, magazine. So I'm going to go this way around with the flatter side facing the front. And we're just going to put that in. And really, it only goes one day. you got two different size holes and two different size pins. So it really only goes one way. So put that in there and push it in. Like that. And then we got 37C, and this one says R1 on it. You can see right there. And we're going to be putting that on the lower part of the leg. And again, two different size pins, two different size holes. Just put the pins in and push it in. Just like that. And we have 37A, this hip joint piece here, the inner inner hip. And we're going to be attaching these together. It's going to go this way around where these two pegs here are going to go into these two holes like that. And then we're going to screw that in here and here with two EM screws. But since that's metal, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on these. There we go. Just a little bloop bloop. And we're going to put that back on like we had it. Push it in nice and snug like that. And finally get our Fantic screwdriver out of here. And we're going to screw those in. There we go. Nice and tight. That ain't going anywhere. All right, guys. That's the end of issue 37. Let's go ahead and move on to issue 38. All right, here's issue 38. Let's go ahead and get a look inside as always. In the line of fire. Get right back here to our farts. All right, it looks like we're gonna be uh, creating that joint in the uh, right thigh here. So here's all of our joint pieces. We've done this before. Put them all together and then we're gonna attach it to that uh, joint that we just put together with the, the thigh. All right, go ahead and uh, let's get started. This is 38B, and then we have the two different size little cups here. This is a 38D and E, and then we have this um, then we have this metal socket piece here. This is 38C. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to drop the big one into this. First, bowl side, just like that. And then the small one into the top of that one. All right, like that. And then this bowl is going to go into that, just like that. And now we got 38A. And if you look inside, you'll see a triangle of holes here, here, there, there. And then one right there at the bottom. 
And that's where we're going to be screwing this into. Now if you look into this, you'll see our three holes that's going to line up and right there is a pin. And that's going to go into that one odd hole here in the bottom. So we're going to turn this over on top of it and try to get that lined up. Now we need this to go through actually. Like that. And then we need to get those holes lined up if we can. You got it in that pin, it shouldn't be able to turn. Okay, now we're going to screw that in with three EP screws. But we're going to use a regular screwdriver because I learned the hard way that if you use the electric screwdriver on these, because this is pulling this down to make it nice and snug, you can break it. So uh, you don't want to do that. So I would use a regular manual screwdriver on this and just start kind of tightening them in a little bit. Get your other one here, get it going in, drop it in there, get that one screwing in, get that third one in. And I gotta, I'm gonna make sure I have this, uh, I'm gonna have it just turned straight towards the top. So uh, if that pin was down here that we hooked that uh, little pin into and then we have our three holes, I have this facing towards the top. And then I'm just going to slowly continue to just go around, tighten a couple times around each one and just keep doing this until we get this uh, ball joint pretty stiff. And again, you can break this if you try to go too much. Pretty stiff there. I'm probably going to go a little bit more though. All right, that's pretty stiff. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, should look just like this. We're going to get our uh, thigh piece here with this uh, piece that we just built, and we're going to attach this to it. It's going to go with these two uh, holes lining up on these two. Just get them lined up on there and set it on like that. And then we're going to screw from this side in. You got them lined up right again. You should be able to kind of try to twist it, and it ain't going to turn. And we're going to screw in from this side with two EP screws. And then nice and snug. About as tight as that's going to get. And that is on there. Right, it should look just like that. Okay, guys, that is the end of stage 38 and the end of box 10. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. Okay, guys, we're all done with box 10 here. So uh, we got this part of the, uh, the right thigh, and that is the inner thigh built. We got the, uh, this little socket built on there, put on. And then we got some uh, pieces put onto the calf here to kind of finish it up. It looks really nice. And so, yeah, I'm really loving how this is coming along. I've got another box of this that's going to be coming along pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Don't forget, for Wicked Wednesday tomorrow, I'll be putting out another Halloween build on Wicked Wednesday. So check that one out. And if you like these kind of videos, guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, Stroll over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is Black and Red Builds. See? Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.